Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you for our time together. Don't forget, this is the Friday night service of Revival Week. We always just take the night. We preach on healing. We anoint people with oil. We pray for all the sick. So if you're sick in your body, especially those of you with cancer, you be in the service tonight. We'd love to lay hands on you and anoint you with oil and pray for your healing in Jesus' name. But right now, I want us to come back to Acts chapter 9. And this meant a lot to me because just the other day, sitting in traffic in the middle of a rainstorm, just like many of you, wasting time, I was watching the movie on Paul. And I just started watching the few first few minutes of it there in the prison in Rome and the things that he suffered. And then I reminded myself as I read through this passage in Acts 9. But the Lord said, Go to force all my chosen instrument to take my message to the Gentiles and to the kings, as well as to the people of Israel. And I will show him how much he must suffer for my name's sake. And I think through all the, the sacrifice in the life of the Apostle Paul and how he said, You know, I know how to abound, but I also know how to be abased. And I think through the apostles where Jesus told them that, you know, they'd, they'd left everything. They'd left fathers and mothers. They'd left fields. They'd left their boats. They'd left their family businesses. They'd left everything to follow Jesus. They had sacrificed. And then I contrast all that with a young man, a young pastor, telling me the other day, you know, Pastor Summerall, pastors at COP just work too hard. I want to have a good life. And I looked at him and I said, now define for me what is a good life. He said, you know, you speak once or twice a week and you have a few Bible studies and that's the ministry. I said, no, that's not the ministry. That's laziness. The Apostle Paul said I worked harder than them all. The Apostle Paul teaches us that we show love by our hard work. You, you say you love people, then you work hard to serve them. There, there's a new generation of young pastors that have come up that that think that the ministry is just a very lazy, laid-back lifestyle where you just walk around and talk to people and, you know, you, you get your sermons off Sermon Central on the Internet and you just preach what somebody else wrote and you just have an easy life and you just kick back and relax. That is not the ministry. I heard something even worse from a banker in Cebu. And they said, you know, if you want to get rich, you should become a preacher. And I thought, what a horrible statement to make. I'm very blessed, and I, I, I thank God for it. But, you know, I've been pastoring COP for 39 years. People say, oh, you're very blessed. I say, you should have been around the first 20, 25 years. At some point, yes, we recognize God prospers and blesses us as pastors because we're Christians too. But young pastors, those of you called to the ministry, you want a life of laziness, please go work in a call center. You want an easy life? Go, go do something else. The ministry is about sacrifice. The ministry is about hard work. And if you're going to do anything great in the kingdom, uh, there's going to be some suffering that goes with it. So, yes, I am a prosperity preacher, but I also recognize that the ministry is a life of sacrifice.